Hello. Welcome to class. Welcome to Power Flow with me, Jenny. So this is a class that's been recorded tonight. Live. Um, so just as a little disclaimer at the beginning, I am 18 weeks pregnant. So there's certain things that I won't do. However, I will give you the instruction to do that. Okay, so bring yourselves onto your back. You have your feet together and your knees wide. You do happen to have a couple of blocks or a book of some description that looks a bit like a block, then grab that. So you can always pause the video and then come, come and join me. So we're gonna start, as I say, on our backs. Lay down, knees wide, feet together, eyes closed. We have 45 minutes together. 45 minutes for you. Okay, so hands now on the tummy. Connect to your breath as it is. Notice the rise and fall of your belly. As you breathe in. to take three clearing breaths now together. So let's take a deep breath in. Clearing breath out. Two more breath in. Breathe out. One more time, inhale. Start to breathe now in and out through your nose. Notice how this feels for you in your body. And as you lay here now in stillness, Pay attention to how you're feeling right now, today. Is this the first time you've allowed yourself to slow down? If it is, check in with yourself. Physically, yes. Emotionally, yes. How are you? Extend your right leg long and then extend your left leg long. Take your arms over your head and have a full body stretch. Point those toes, wiggle the hips. And then bring your knees into your tummy. You're going to take just outside of your knees. You're probably going to be able to draw your knees in a bit closer than me. So flex your toes towards your face and have a little rock from right to left. Then you're going to come to center, push the soles of your feet up and take the outsides of your feet in happy baby. So have a little rock again, right to left. And let's find some stillness. Let's push those feet even further up. So push the knees even further away and push the soles of the feet up to the ceiling. Feel this in your hips. Push your tailbone down into the ground. Then you're going to take behind your knees and have a rock and roll now up and down your mat. So really engage your core. Don't let those feet touch the ground. Keep doing that. Wake yourself up. Rock and roll. 
and then we're gonna rock forward and cross our ankles come onto our hands and our knees tabletop so come into your tabletop position spread those fingers wide and just start moving now move in a way that feels good okay so you might like to move your hips like I'm doing right to left you might have started to circle those hips having a check-in with yourself what does your body need right now circle your hips reverse the circles notice the breath have you lost it do you need to come back to it is the mind taking you somewhere else tabletop position cow cats make sure your shoulders are on top of your wrist take a breath in and then arch the back look to the ceiling round your spine chin to chest inhale as you arch your back and then round the spine chin to chest again we arch and we round exhale come into neutral now a lot of us spend a little bit too long sat down so we're just going to open up our chest here and also in between our shoulders take the hands to the top of your mat bring your chest down keep the hips high puppy pose chin down forehead down you choose breathe into the space that you're creating yourselves back tabletop position so back in tabletop we're going to extend our right leg back so I really want you to imagine there's a wall there at the back so you're going to imagine you're pushing that heel against the wall okay so stretching down the back of that right leg then you're going to lift your right leg away from the ground keep the leg parallel okay so left arm extends three breaths Two. One more. Release with control. Okay, so we switch to the other side. Take that left leg back. Push the toes down. Push that heel down. And always make sure that the shoulders are on top of the wrist. Really push that heel back. When you're ready to lift the leg, take that right arm ahead. Three. Two. One, releasing slowly. Knees wide, big toes together, child's pose, forehead down. Move your forehead from right to left. Push those hands down into the mat. Strong Ujjayi breath. Push the forehead down in the center. Be still now with your forehead. And then push yourself back into tabletop position. So tuck your toes under, pull your belly in, and make a downward facing dog. Once we've arrived here, we're gonna pedal out our heels. Right heel, left heel. Take your dog for a walk, relax your head. Try to listen to my voice rather than watch what I do, because as I say, a lot of things will be slightly different. Slightly different for me and you. Breathe in. And breathe out. Be still with your heels. Okay, so imagine you're trying to rip this mat apart with your hands and your feet really look through those legs. Okay, breathe in. One more, inhale, and exhale, good, let's walk forward now, so tiptoe to the top of your mat, take your feet wide, grab your elbows, come into ragdoll, soften your knees, take 
take the arms down, shake out the head, the neck, the shoulders, and then bring the feet in together. Chin to chest. Coming up to stand, arms up. Inhale. Reach all the way up. See how far you can reach. And then interlace those fingers, push the palms up. So your palms are pushing up towards the ceiling. Breathe in and breathe out. Fall to your right. back up so take take your arms really wide and bring your hands to prayer close the eyes stand tall roll those shoulders back take a breath in and a breath out open your eyes reach up your arms inhale Exhale as you fold yourself forwards and soften your knees. Make a halfway lift. Look forward. Relax the head. No stressing the neck like this. So look forwards. Exhale, soften. Push down and rise. Reach up. Exhale, fold. Halfway, we look forward. Exhale, we soften. Inhale, we reach. Exhale, we fold. Halfway, look forward. Hands to your mat, step into your plank. Okay, so you're gonna be in a stronger plank than me. Pull your belly in and have a rock forward and back. Forward and back. Move your weight forward, drop your knees. Now lower all the way down to your mat. Okay, so imagine I've moved all the way down to my mat and I've got my elbows tucked in tight to my body. Okay, so you're lying on your front. Breathe in, push those hands down, straighten up the arms and take a look over your left shoulder. Come back to centre and then right shoulder. Make your way back, push up onto those knees and then back into our downward facing dog. So down dog reset. Breathe in, and then breathe out. Again, inhale, and then exhale. Look forward, step the right foot through, then the left foot through. Make a halfway lift, and then exhale, we soften into chair. So let's come into our fierce pose. Relax the shoulders, lift the heels. Sit lower, five. Relax your face, four. Three. Two. One. And fold, exhale. Halfway, look forward. Hands to your mat, high to low plank. Or straight into a downward facing dog. If you're moving from high to low, take your time lower, exhale, inhale, pushing forward, and then downward facing dog. We all meet here in our down dog, breathing in, and breathing in now. Look forward, step that left foot through now, step the right foot through, halfway. Exhale as we soften into chair. So let's sit lower, lift those heels. Five, four, keep smiling. Three, two, one, and fold. Exhale, halfway, look forward. Step or float into high plank or step straight back into your downward facing dog. You choose. If you're moving high to low, work with your breath. If you're straight in down dog, reset. Enjoy. Breathing in. And out. Again, inhale. And exhale. 
Let's sweep our right leg up towards the ceiling as we inhale and bend the knee. Draw the heel to the bottom and circle your ankle. Breathe in as you lift. Breathe out as you step through. Let's come into warrior one. So warrior one, look forward. Strong legs, strong arms, relax shoulders, soft gaze. Breathe in. Warrior two, open those arms. Keep looking ahead of you. Reach forward, flip your palm and reverse. Reach back with your right arm, take the left arm and grab that right hip, two breaths. One more. Right elbow to right knee, left arm forwards, extended side angle. So try not to collapse here like this. Try to stay lifted, left arm, reach it, two breaths. One more. Sweep this left arm back, keep the right arm there, reach forwards, one. Two, reach forwards, one more and reach reverse the warrior and vinyasa hands to the mat high to low or downward facing dog resetting breathing in breathing out once we've arrived back in downward facing dog we're going to take it to our left hand side so take that left leg up bend the knee Bring the heel to the bottom, circle the ankle. And then quietly step through, warrior one. Let's come through. Warrior one, look through. Just look forward straight ahead of you, breathe in. Warrior two, open. Reach forward, flip the palm and then reverse the warrior. Two breaths, in and out. Breathe in, breathe out. Left elbow to left knee, right arm forward for our extended side angle. Reach forward, two. One more breath. Sweep this arm back, forwards. Again, we go back. And forwards, one more, reach it back. And then forwards, reverse the warrior. Vinyasa, hands down, high plank to low or straight into down dog with me. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, and then exhale. Look forward, step or float forwards, halfway. Exhale, soften into chair. Let's come into that seat. Sit nice and low. Bring the palms together. Now you have a choice to come into closed twist, bring that left elbow outside of the right knee, or come into cactus arms with me. So breathe in to lift, breathe out to twist. Three. Two. One more breath. Fold forward, exhale. Take the feet wide, relax the head. Grab a hold of your big toes now. So you're gonna pull those toes, pull them and push them and then look forwards. Halfway lift. Exhale, relax the head, elbows to the sides. Do that again, halfway. Exhale, relax. One more time, halfway. And relax. Take the hands away from the feet and come back into chair. So you come and sit into your seat as low as you can. Bring those palms together, close twist, bring that right elbow outside of the left knee. Or stick with me with our cactus arm, so breathe in. Breathe out to twist, twist to your left. Three. Two. 
one more breath. And fold, exhale, well done. Take those feet wide as wide as the mat. And let's pop our hands under the feet. Come into your gorilla. Relax your head. Push some weight into the balls of your feet. And then look forwards to halfway. Relax your head. Again, halfway. Relaxing your head. Again, let's look forwards to halfway. And relax. Take that right hand away, take the left hand away, and we're going to come down into our yogi squat. Okay, so yogi squat, toes out, knees out. We're going to bring those knees, push those knees away with the elbows, bring the palms together. Okay, so let's just close the eyes. You might want to sit up on a block, some people do, your heels may be lifted. That's okay, three. One more breath. Open your eyes, take that right hand down, reach the left arm up. Take a twist. And then switch. Left hand down, push the left knee away, right arm up. Well done. So both hands down. Fold forwards, bring those feet in, toe heel your feet in. Slowly we rise all the way up. So reach those arms up, bring the palms together, heart center. Okay, so we're going to come into some balancing now. So I would like you to start really focusing on grounding down your right foot. Okay, so that right foot, feel it on the mat and start to lift the left. Sorry, start to lift. Start to lift, ground down the right, ground down your left foot, ground down your left foot and lift up your right. Excuse me. So palms together, tree pose, arms up. Now your foot might be a lot higher than mine. Your foot might have come above your knee. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale, release. We're going to shake out that standing leg and we're going to switch sides. So I'd like you to lift your left foot now. Okay, so it's the right foot that grounds you down. And you lift. Palms together, arms up when you're ready. My balance is a little off today, and sometimes that's the way. Palms together, feet together, breathing in and breathing out. Reach those arms up now, inhale. I want you to take your left arm forwards. Let's take that right arm back. Take a hold of your right foot. Now, be confident, be strong. Trust yourself. Push your foot into your hand and come into your dancer's pose. Two breaths. One more. Well, your hands now. So I'm just going to turn so you can see me this way. Take your right arm ahead of you. Left arm comes back. Take that left foot in your left hand. Push. Dances. Two. One more breath. Well done. Feet together, palms together, heart center. Close your eyes. Breathe in and breathe out. Open the eyes, reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold forwards. Halfway, look forwards. Hands to the mat, step into plank, or for me, down dogs. So you might come with me. So if it's plank, it's high to low. Exhaling on the way down. 
inhaling as you push forwards and then exhaling as you make your downward facing dog right leg is going to sweep up as you inhale step it through into warrior one arms up warrior two open so straighten up that right leg if you have a prop not just there for decoration <laughs> you can use it so if you have one I sometimes like to put it here the so right leg is straight reach forwards the hand can come on the inside of the shin or on that block if it's there the left hand reaches up so focus here what's happening in this hip can you open more can you open more into this left shoulder two breaths one more Bend your front knee, turn to face your left hand side. Okay, so we're gonna have a little bit of a shimmy. I'm gonna say, get ourselves ready for goddess pose. So, goddess pose, just take those arms up here and then bring them down and lower yourself down, lift those heels. Okay, we're gonna pulse those arms. 10, 9, smiles help. 8, 7, 6, five, four, three, two, and one. Heels down, toes forward. Interlace your hands behind your back. So we like this. Okay, so open up the chest. Inhale, exhale, fold. Drop the hands to the mat. Look over the right shoulder, then look over the left. Fold forwards. Allow that head to fall down towards the mat. Turn your feet now to face the top of your mat and come into that low lunge position. So both feet facing forward. Step back into plank, or if you're coming with me, straight into down dog. If it's plank, you flow. You move high to low, and then move forwards into your upward facing dog, and then downward facing dog. Okay, from down dog, lift that left leg up as you inhale, and then step it through, coming into warrior one. So warrior one, warrior two, opening. Straighten your front leg, reach forward and if you wish to use a block you can bring that block just on the inside of that left foot and the left hand down or left hand sits on the inside of the left shin right hand reaches up open the hip open the shoulder two breaths one more Bend your front knee, turn to face your right. Bring your hands now like this on the lower back. So you're gonna take a back bend. Your hands are there as a support. Breathe in, back bend. Breathe out, fold forward. Take the hands to the ankles. So the hands are on our ankles, our head is relaxed. And we're gonna take some squats from side to side. Okay, so side lunges. Bend the right knee, open up the chest, so lift up. You can use, you can do this without hands on the mat, in hands in prayer, or you use the hands for stability, which is what I need today. So you choose, keep switching. We're going from side to side. Keep switching. You're gonna finish there on your left hand side. Come into wide leg forward fold. Walk your hands to the top of your mat. Both feet face forwards. High plank or down dog. If it's high plank, it's high to low. If it's down dog, you're resetting. You're connecting with your breath straight away. Breathing in. And breathing out. Once everybody's arrived now in downward facing dog, we're gonna slowly drop our knees to the ground and then come and lie on our backs. So come into lie on your back. 
And if you want to take something a little bit more restorative and you have the props, please set yourselves up into your supported bridge using a block. If not, then we're gonna come into active bridge. So if you lie down, bring the soles of your feet on the mat, middle finger should be tickling the backs of those heels, okay? Hands pushed down, first of all. So push those heels down as well. So heels push down, lift the hips up, shuffle the shoulders underneath you, five breaths. Four. Three. Two. One. And let's come down, well done. Okay, so you're gonna take one more back bend today. So if you have a wheel in your practice, you'll prepare yourself for that. If you don't, you'll stay with me, we'll stay with bridge, and we push our heels down. Everybody inhale, and then lift, shuffle the shoulders underneath you, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Well done, slowly down with control. Have a windscreen of your legs left to right. And then you're gonna come back into a recline butterfly, soles of the feet together. Knees to the side, hands could be here on your tummy or over your head, taking opposite elbows, reconnecting with the breath. Bring your knees in together and then bring them in towards the tummy. So I want you to take behind your knees and as we did at the beginning, just rock and roll. Come up and down that mat. And on your next rock forwards, you're going to lift yourself up into boat pose. Hands can stay here or out. Okay, mine are staying here today. Three, two, one, rock and roll. Make your way back into boat, lift up. Choose your hand positioning behind the knees or out. Three, two, one, rock and roll. Last one, lift up, make it the best. Just keep the hands here, take the hands out. Three, smile, two, one, rock and roll. On that next rock forward, cross your ankles and push, bring the hands down, push back into high plank and then move from high to low. I'm gonna go straight into down dog. You have time. Work with your breath. Breathe in. And breathe out. Take that right leg up once you get to down dog and bend the knee. Bring the knee to the wrist. Come into half pigeon. Okay, so right knee to right wrist. Open up the chest, inhale, and then exhale. Bring yourself forward, close your eyes. Use something for your head if you wish. Rest your head on. My blocks are at the other end of my mat. <laughs> if I could reach, I would bring a block here, or you can just use your Fists is a little pillow. Two breaths. One more. Hands onto the mat. Lift up the chest. Tuck the toes. Down dog. Push back. Reset. Breathe in. Breathe out. Left leg lifts, bend the knee. Bring that knee forwards to the wrist, and we're going to open up the chest, inhale, 
and then exhale, bring ourselves forward into Pigeon Pose. Close the eyes, settle in, breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. One more time in. And out. Good, so let's bring our hands to the mat. Lift up the chest, roll to the left and extend the legs out. So we push those legs out ahead of us and either bring those feet together or separate them a little bit. Sit up tall, reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold yourself forwards. Now try to do this with a straight spine. That was not a great demonstration initially. So try to lift up and then fold rather than too much hunching like this. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. One more in and out. Good. So we're going to lift ourselves up and come back into shoulder stand if that's in your practice or come with me for something a little bit more restorative. I'm going to use a prop underneath my lower back and extend my legs up. So you choose. If you're coming to shoulder stand, the legs are over your head and then knees over your ears. Sorry, legs over your head and then legs straight up, knees over your ears at the end. So legs are up now. In whatever position you're in, your legs are straight up towards the ceiling. Trying to flex those feet, spread the toes wide. Yogi toes. If you're in your stand, start making your way back into your plow and then take your knees over your ears. From there, everybody's going to start to slowly, slowly make their way down to lying on the mat. Extend out the legs. Give those hips a little wiggle around. Okay, let's come into a twist. Bring your right knee in. Interlace the hands around the knee. Breathe in and then breathe out as that right knee goes to the left. And we look to the right. So look to those right fingertips. Twist. Close your eyes now and keep them closed for the rest of our practice. Come back to center. Shift your hips to the left. Extend the right leg. Draw the left knee in. Inhale. Exhale, left knee to the right. Look to the left or turn your head to the left. way back to center. Extend your legs out long. Have your arms beside you, your palms facing up. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And then open your mouth. Deep breath.
let the universe support you. Who or what is your source of power? Who or what are you connected to? Watch yourself as you go through your days. Where do you get your nurturing, your support, your empowerment, your energy? Does it all come from one person? Do you have a multitude of sources? There was a time when many of us made one person our only source. This time has passed. Are there special people in our lives? There are special people in our lives to be of special support. One of our lessons has been to broaden our connections, to connect the universe and to open up, to open up to all the love and the support that is there for us. If we use for our source only one person, only one job, one place, one situation, we may, we may encounter problems. Searching for many sources of support is a sign of our growth, a sign that we're continuing on our journey. Value and cherish the people in your life who feed your soul and nurture your heart. Value and cherish the people who are special to you, who you hold dear, who help, you, who help support you. But don't limit your connections. Open your heart to a living universe. Open your heart to divine love. Know that if you can't get what you need from one person or place, it's because the universe is something or someone better for your needs and your growth. Who and what are you connected to? Are you willing to become connected to the universe? Open your heart, open your mind, your soul, and let the universe teach you about divine love. Stop limiting your source to only one person. Open to a limitless source of support and energy. Open to the universe. beginning to bring awareness back to the physical body. Moving your fingers and moving your toes. Moving your head from right to left. And then reach your arms over your head, point your toes forward, have a full body stretch. Bring the knees into your tummy and just gently roll to your right hand side. Keep your eyes closed and come to a seat now, hands together at your heart center. And I'd like you to just check in with yourself as you did at the beginning. How do you feel right now? Take a breath in and a breath out. Bring your thumb knuckles to your forehead center with a quiet mind and an open heart. We close our practice together by saying Namaste. Thank you for making the time to practice, thank yourselves for practicing and I hope to see you very soon. Have a great rest of your day and week ahead.